10 cent penny arcade DLC Kickstarter pin donation drive. Extremely rare pin. Very shiny. You can win it for $10.10 or increments thereof. And that's going to run through Mikey's call until 7 p.m. But don't wait. Get your donations in now. Uh, we've got some silent auctions up for four hours more. Oh, we've got silent auctions ending in seven minutes. Okay, we've got seven minutes left on the big bag of dice which, with a meteorite die and an allosaurus die. The Tetris uh, bag with wonderful pockets and Tetris charms. The Battle Over Sharn limited edition D&D &D print would look gorgeous over a mantle place. Um, and the Team Geek slot, which has some really wonderful goodies in it. And we also, with four hours left, have the Clockwork Dragon Scarf, gorgeous piece of work, currently at 266. You can totally get in on that, great deal. We have at $1,400, the Loading Ready Run fan lot, including two handmade plushies, some handmade buttons, a penny arcade pin, uh, and a Kickstarter uh, uh, Loading Ready Run poster, also drawn by the, the Mike Lunsford, who draws our Desert Bus poster, and the exceedingly rare uh, season one of Loading Ready Run and the giant mother brain plush now up to $200 she is very cuddly we danced with her earlier makes a great reading pillow as well if you missed out on Leonard you could take on mother brain so check those out all right Kathleen yes we have six minutes yes I feel like six minutes is enough time to give some poor life choice advice oh yeah uh, somebody wants to donate for us to do more creepy craft party planning for the holiday season. Oh, I think we can do that. Where's the oh, Santa hat? We do, do we have a Santa hat? Uh, I mean, I think, Tally, between you and I, Kathleen, we're the, we're the crafters. Definitely. I mean, there's other crafters in this building. There is no doubt. Hey, can I borrow your microphone, please? Oh, perfect, yes. Yes, you can, my dear. Can you reach and grab it? So I... Continue to try to score a point. Yes, and there's where you can order the poster. That is my focus right now. You can order the poster. You can order a soft cover copy of Andrew's book. You can order a fan game or t-shirt. So many wonderful desert bus things. I totally went and ordered my, uh, I have my fan game or shirt. I totally went and ordered my book, my desert bus seven book. All right. Gosh, this hat's kind of heavy. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, it's a Christmas hat. Yes. Okay. So. Mom, Goodbye, Skull. Sir. He's abandoned us. <laughs> he doesn't want to be in this segment. That's his so, loss. So, Kathleen, yes. Christmas is coming up. It is. And if there's anything you got to do, it's you got to put good old Annie Schellenberger in her place. That's right. <laughs> Annie Schellenberger, that bus, <laughs> thinks she's so hot, she can't even hold a glue stick properly, that lady. And have you seen her try to use a hot glue gun? It turns out just about as well as, I, as when I use a hot glue gun, which is burns everywhere. Yeah. So we got to put her down. She cannot win Best Decorated House on the Block again. It's a travesty. No, no. Now, you know what I really, really like for Christmas decoration, decorating? Skulls? Those are great, but garlands. garlands. Garlands are such a great Christmas Oh, thing. like bunting. Yes. Legit, I love bunting. Yes. Just, I love it. It's awesome. And garlands are great. You can wrap them around all of the stair rail banners. If you have, I mean, if you don't have a house with a really nice grand staircase, I'm not really sure what you're doing wrong there. You well, I mean, probably you, probably work on that. you probably made some poor life choices. Exactly. Uh, so we're just going to assume that you have a grand descending swooping staircase. Well, I, I actually don't have a grand descending swooping staircase. Poor life choices. <laughs> there right you there. go. 420, 420. Woo! Woo! Thank you, thank you. Now, what the question is, what should we make our garlands out of? Because, you know, uh, holly and the holly and the ivy are so, they're so done. They're really done. Everybody yeah. has oh, done yeah. those. Ellie, Annie Schellenberger's got the holly and the ivy on lock. Yeah. We can be better than her. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, fabric? Is that special enough? Your fabric is good, um, but red. Red is a really great <gasps> color. And, you know, um, I think I know where you're going with this. Do you? Organs? Yes! Oh, I love yes! awful. It's such a fresh red when you get them still, like, moist and dripping. Oh, my gosh, yes. yes. And then the, it's not just red on the garland. It's red on your walls, exactly. red on your floor. Exactly. And intestines, um. why 
working really well. Oh my god, they're actually very stretchy. Please, dear God, put your children to bed before <laughs> we keep going. Uh, like it is. Uh, well, the Hosklings are in bed. Yes, they're Good, the only okay. children who watch Desert. And Buffs. you know what else is great about organs? Something that's fantastic for the holiday season is glitter. It just brings that like fairy dust magic of Christmas, gets in your eye, and then you've got Christmas right there in your eye. So what we're you. saying is we should stuff the organs with glitter before well, we. Well, no, you don't need to stuff them because that moistness holds the glitter on oh, so yeah. nicely. All you have to do is sprinkle it over, get a little extra on your floor. I love this. But what organ do you prefer? Do you, are you a small intestine or a large intestine kind of lady, Tally? Well, you know, it really depends on the staircase. You want a, an intestine that's going to uh, really accentuate your staircase, but not hide it too much. So if you've got a really nice, wide, rounded oak uh, uh, staircase railing, I think that the the, the Large intestine can work, but for a narrower railing, you want to stick with that small one. So yeah, you're accentuating, mm, but not mm, overdoing. Mm. Yeah, I have seen a lot of issues of uh, Martha Stewart living when they, uh, they've they got the large intestine, but it's on a small banister, and it, I, right. I find it just overwhelms. It really is. And oh my God, have you seen that the gilded pine cones that that woman uses? She can never pick the right size. They're just way too large for her table settings. No, it's true. I, uh, I prefer... Um, uh, I'm totally blanking on the uh, the organ that I would like to substitute for a pine cone. Well, the kidney is a nice one. It has a really rich color for the holiday season. And you dip that in a little gold glitter. Uh huh. It's so festive. It's beautiful. You, now you, you know. You got that burgundy. You got that gold. The question is where to get all these organs and and goats. Goats are in plentiful supply this time of year. Everyone knows the Christmas goat is just everywhere. And you're making your sacrifice anyhow. So yes. So it's using every part of the goat. Well, and if you've been on Pinterest lately, you've noticed that like the gilded figurines are very in. So you can use every part of the goat, which, as we've discussed before, we feel is very important. Oh, yeah. We're, so a, we're, a, we're a tip to tail goat using household that's here. That's right. So you get those organs for the goat for all this decorating, but you get the fur as well. So you can line your Christmas party dress with that goat fur and then you can take those horns and gild them and those make great table centerpieces I'm telling you what or a gift or a gift I would yes. love I would love some horns for my sacrifice to the dark lord that's right who doesn't need one of little, those a under little the horn Christmas fascinator tree? Absolutely. And you know what? You've got two. So you can use one for that awkward secret Santa thing at work that you always have to participate oh, yeah, yeah. in. Always but gotta go in there. And that's yeah. so much better than a bottle of liquor. Exactly. Nobody wants another bottle of Kahlua when they, they could have a handmade. Have some of us want another bottle of liquor. I don't want another bottle of liquor. What I want, I want a handmade goat fascinator or just, or just. You know, if you got any left, there's a lot of small intestine. They, despite their name, they're quite long. Absolutely. And if you have a little bit of small intestine left over, great ribbon for your gift. Oh, my God. It looks so good. You wrapped my gift in that last year, and I was like, oh. Right. right. And the glitter stayed right on there. It was great. Oh, it was fantastic. It was just great. And you know what? Cats liked it afterwards, too. Unwrap my gift. Cats it's were happy. Perfect. Everybody's happy. And you know, if there's extra blood from the goats, um, sometimes you get one of those gag gift uh, uh, um <laughs> The white elephant Exchange. gift exchange? Exactly. That's I, where I, I got this so, hat. Right. Can they're you tell? So, I, they're so tacky, but you got to bring something. So you can just do one of those great little gag yeah. gifts, put that in a wine bottle, and make your own little, you know, like goat's blood uh, label. Super crafted with your little Cricut crafter and a little bit of ink edging on the side. Maybe oh. emboss the corners. So super, classy. Super nice. That's right. And you know what? You slip that in to the neighborhood gift exchange, you get any Schellenberger. She'll be filling one up. Oh yeah. Also, probably a little scared. To that. A little scared. But you mostly should move one-upped. away. That would be good. Oh, that'd be the best. Yes. All right. I think that's a pretty good craft <laughs> advice. This has been horrible crafting time with Tally and Kathleen. Oh. Watch us instead of Martha Stewart. We're so much worse. Yeah. Wait. That was terrifying. <laughs> that was scary. Very, very, very scary. All right. So Mikey's about to call in. Yay! But before that, this Mike wants to spice up the DLC lot. What? I'm up. Oh, right, right, right. It's the first time you want the skull what? to be there. What? Oh. So You're wow. welcome. So <laughs> wow, is that some Yep. Wow. Alright, James just sweetened that cake, but this is the most recent. This is the most penny recent, penny yeah, penny arcade. It's shaking itself off my head. <laughs> <laughs> Disturbingly happy. That's kind of inappropriate, really. 
Carl? <laughs> that was terrifying. All right. Where's Graham? Uh, he went to get dinner. Uh, can, can you go get him, actually, James? Yeah. It's 6.02. Yeah, because Mike, he, Mikey's going to call in any second. That's right. Yes. Hey. I think Mikey's about to Sweet. I think I've got a story point very traumatizing five so minutes. So, uh, and what they looked like, Kate. It looked like Kathleen and Tally give horrible Christmas advice. What was oh, that? It was our crafting thing. Like, you remember the thing from Pizza? Oh, yeah, yes. I was a little offended that I had been replaced. No, no, no. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. From, I understand. from oh, two right. three dumps ago. Plus, part of the reason about how to use all parts of the goat in your seasonal decorating. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to call signal coming in like sure Mike. Might, he might actually be out there. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> It's okay, my ears stick out. Bye, James. See you. Mikey's on the line. Oh, Mikey's on the line? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Patch him in. Hello? Um, yeah, they can see They can see it, I think. I um, understand. What did, what did you want me to do? What? I don't know. Dance around? <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> yes. was, uh, they made me. It was a thing. I had never mind. How's how's everybody doing? This is this is the wrong. You're at the wrong one. This is Desert Bus. No, it was a it was a contract thing. I I was supposed to. This is actually what I got for donating. Uh, was this shirt to <laughs> Desert Chris? Well, we have way better stuff. Way better. Yeah, I am actually about seven cents short of of owing that organization about three million dollars. So. <laughs> I think I'll be working that off for the rest of my life. I was going to say, was the shirt the seven cent reward they needed to push them over the top? <laughs> yeah, I don't think it, they washed it. it. It feels like in a in a huff, they just uh, scribbled on a, a 